the the American car makers and those who sell cars in the United States are are basically saying that they'll match President Biden's uh, requirement of 50 percent of all vehicles sold near 2030 would would be uh, electric vehicles, battery powered electric vehicles. So let's say that would be 10 million vehicles. Typical American car uses a 100 kilowatt hour battery, uh, and it would require six to eight kilograms of lithium measured as metal, or 100 kilograms of lithium uh, measured as as carbonate. Now, 10 million times that's a that's a billion kilograms of carbonate. Okay, let's say that for argument's sake, I'm off by 50 percent. We only need uh, 500 million kilograms of carbonate in the year 2030 to make our batteries. So that that will be 500,000 tons of carbonate. Well, that happens to be this year's total, around this year's total production of carbonate worldwide. Now, I don't really believe it's possible that eight years from now, the United States will be producing let's say half of that amount, uh, maybe a tenth of that amount. And and yet these numbers keep coming out and no one pays attention to the fact that they're really not possible. So for the United States to produce enough lithium, just lithium, to provide for all the cars required to be made with using uh, battery powered electric powertrains in the year 2030, is in my opinion, not possible. Yet no one in the automotive industry seems to care about this. That there, you know, in, in World War II, the construction battalions of the United States Navy, known as uh, the Seabees, had a were were well known to have they had a famous motto. It said, the the difficult takes a while, the impossible takes a little while longer. Well, let's put it this way. It's impossible. It's going to take a little while longer, maybe the rest of time. The United States car industry, if it's going to go to battery powered electrics, 50% of production by the year 2030, which could be as much as 10 million vehicles, is not going to be able to source that lithium domestically. So the law introduced by the uh, I believe it was the Inflation Reduction Act, the horribly misnamed legislation of earlier this year, said that by that year, any component used in an electric vehicle from manufacturing in the United States, which will qualify for tax credits or tax relief, must have 100% domestic content. Now, that isn't going to be possible. So all these predictions on revenues and profits and everything are, let's say, BS. And the lithium mining community, as you as you probably know, is, is continuing to raise prices. Well, it's it's the Chinese, but they're following, of course. So many lithium projects today are only viable because of the very high current lithium price, which in China has reached. $80,000 per ton for lithium carbonate. Now, you have to understand that only a couple of years ago, lithium carbonate was $16,000 a ton. And all of the planning for making batteries was based on that. I'm going to take a guess that today with those kinds of prices, the cost of the battery in an electric vehicle, in a full-size electric vehicle, one that uses a 100 kilowatt hour battery, is approaching maybe as much as half of the cost of the vehicle. This, this kind of situation was never, ever contemplated by the people who budget manufacturing cars within the corporations. I'm not hearing a word that, that there's any concern, but we, I think we all understand why. Public companies do not like to tell you 
that they can't really do what they said they're going to do. That's not real good for the share price, and it's not real good for the longevity of the managers. I'm not saying it couldn't be done. I'm just saying that I don't know any way with my particular knowledge of the mining sector that it's possible, even remotely possible, to approach those those lithium supply numbers for the year 2030. And everybody has to keep something in mind. Today, the United States produces about 20% of the world's cars. So please, everyone, what about the rest of the world? Think about it. If it's not possible to, to, to supply enough lithium to make enough batteries in the United States for our own half of our own production, what about the rest of the world? These numbers are impo impossible. I don't know what's going on here, but I do see that many, many experts do not seem to pay any attention to the data provided by the United States Geological Survey, the British Geographical Survey, or any, any such surveys done by governments in the world. The, these governments have determined how much of commodities are produced and what reserves there are of these commodities to continue producing. And I just want to leave you with one thought, Tracy. Metals and ores in the ground, minerals, are not organic. They don't grow. Mines have lifetimes. And my, the life of a mine is declining from the day the first shovel is turned because the high grades are disappearing and you're going to lower and lower grades. I think a lot of people who predict the supply of these commodity metals think that if there's a mine in East Overshoe producing 10,000 tons a year of lithium, it'll always be producing 10,000 tons a year of lithium. That, as we know, is not true. Nobody is taking into account the lifetime of mines, the, de the generally declining high-grade mines. Most of the high-grade mines in the world have been discovered. I I'll admit that that may not be true for lithium because lithium, 15 years ago, nobody cared about it. Now it's a big deal. So people are looking for lithium. But like every other commodity metal, there is a limit to how much of this material there is accessible to us. Yes, there may be a whole lot of copper in, in, in uh, East Overshoe, but can we get at it? Do we have the capital to build roads, power, bring water to these sites? Do, do we have the time? And how there, the world doesn't have infinite capital. The, the, the gross domestic product of our world is $80 trillion a year. 25% uh, of that's North America. Another 20% is China. In other words, the, our, two, our three nations, the United States, Canada, let's say, and uh, China, produce nearly half of the world's GDP. So where is the money going to come from to build all of these mines, processing stations, and battery, battery manufacturing systems? Well, it would have to come out of, out of our money here. But are we in such a dynamic growth era in any part of the world now that we, we can just throw off money, trillions of dollars to build out an electric uh, vehicle supply system? I, I'm asking you, I'm not answering, I'm asking the public to consider this. Let's everybody take a breath and please start thinking about the limitations of the natural resources accessible to us with our money and with our technology. And in my opinion, after a lifetime of looking at this, they are not sufficient. So some people are gonna have electric cars and some people aren't. Some people are gonna have wind, wind turbines for electricity, some people aren't. Who makes that decision? Uh, I leave it to you.